this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a um, USB bootable flash drive that you're going to use in order to boot your Lion or your Leopard or install your Tiger OS X on your older Mac. Um, for newer Macs with Mavericks and the newer OS, you don't need to do this, okay? You can just download and press Command R and you're done with it. With older Macs, you need to do it this way. So we're going to make the bootable USB drive. and USB drives better than uh, DVD, so forget about DVDs. USB drives are cheaper, faster, it's gonna be better. Okay, so get one that's at least 10 gigs. I uh, would actually recommend the uh, bigger the better. Um, in this case, it's 64 gig. Doesn't need to be. Make sure it's at least 10 gigs. And we're gonna partition it in two points. So first of all, open up your disk utility. Um, if you don't find disk utility, just go to your spot finder, and there you go. Type in disk utility and once you find it in your spotlight you can open it up uh, you also will need your DMG file okay this is lying in this case but uh, it could be tiger it could be anything and uh, just the DMG file would be fine um, you will see later on if you have a different type of file it's gonna work as well but I'm gonna show that later on first of all your USB drive it's important the way that you partition this so first of all we're just gonna erase it and make sure it's journaled so the first option right here and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more on it okay there we go and just click erase erase there we go so it shouldn't take that long to erase once you erase something and you're formatting it remember you're erasing everything from it so make sure there's nothing important in your USB flash drive because you don't want that to happen Okay, so once we did that, we need to go into partition, which is the second option down up here. And from this arrow here, we're going to choose two partitions. Okay, and before we do anything, we have to click on options. So click on the second one. Let's just do the second one. That has to be minimum 8 gigs, your second partition. Okay, I would make it minimum 8 gigs. Um, depending what OS you're loading, some are 4 to 8 gigs, so that's what I'm saying, 8 gigs. And right here, you're going to click on Options. Now, this is the important part. Make sure to click Apple Partition Map, okay? So, I'm assuming you guys are doing older Macs, so do this. Even if you're doing a 2008 Intel Mac, this will help you out, okay? And it will work. So, just do this for a safety net. Click on there. Okay, and you're pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna name our second partition OS X. That's just for our reference, that's all. It has nothing to do with anything really. And then we can just apply it. And then partition. Okay, so make sure you click down here below where it says apply. And we're just gonna wait till this is done. It shouldn't take that long. Once again, this is only 64 gigs, not that big. And it does depend how big your USB flash drive is and how long this takes. Um, usually it doesn't take that long like you saw right now. Um, okay, from this point, you guys are gonna go into restore. Let's just do this right away. And on restore, you're gonna click on our partition that says OS X up here. Okay, so that's what we named it. In this case, you guys could name it Tiger or Lion, whatever you're installing. Um, doesn't really matter. And from here, your DMG file comes along. Okay, so we're just going to double click on that and open it up. Now, when we open it up, we should see this. Now, this is the important file. So if you ha guys have this already, so this is the ESD file. It's okay, then you don't need the DMG file like I have it here, as long as you guys have this, okay? And from here, you should you should see that right here on your disk utility. So you're going to drag this. So it should be here under your DMG file. If you don't have a DMG file, you should see something like this. And you should drag this up here. So make sure you have selected your OS. And you're going to drag this up to here. And then you're going to restore it from there. Okay, that's the easiest way to do this. And um, so just drag it on top of here. Let go. Okay, your destination. Um will be your OS X so that's what you want it to be okay and right there we're just gonna click on restore and it's gonna take some time to actually make this image for you and um, so it 
this is it. This is the process of how you make a bootable USB flash drive. Once you do this, you just have to start up your Mac. If you have, for example, a 2008 MacBook Pro that's pretty old, you can just plug this in, make sure your Mac is off. And once you turn it on, just hold on to the options key. So the option key is right beside your command key. It says option on top of it says alt. So just hold on to that key for a while. I usually say 13 seconds because command R works like that. Don't. Oh yeah, by the way, don't use Command R for your older Macs. It will not work. Okay, that's why you need it, this bootable drive. Okay, uh, so just hold on to your options key. And I would hold on to it actually till you see a message that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. I'm just gonna wait for this to be done just to show you guys how it looks like and that's it. Okay guys, so once this is done, you're gonna see something like this. So it should say like this and nothing down here. It's fine. You're ready to go. You're done. Okay, from here you can just take out your USB drive from your Mac, or if you did it on the Mac that you're done making this into, then take it out anyways and put it back in once you turn off your Mac. Okay, so turn off your Mac, put that in, and once you turn it on, you're gonna be pressing, holding on to the options key, okay? So hold on to that. And then you're gonna get an option that says choose your language. So you're gonna choose the first one. Okay, and you can choose US as well um, for country, and you're good to go. From there, you're gonna get maybe two or three options, probably just two. And you're gonna choose the yellow one most likely. Remember that we named our partition pretty much OS X. So right here it says HD, but you guys will see OS X if you named it like that, or whatever name you gave that partition. That will be right there so just click on there to select it or with your arrow keys you can select it as well um, once you do that it'll just take you to the next step which is just installing your OS X which here's just a quick snapshot of what that is um, and then you just have to go through the process it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID later on and so you can make your updates and that's it so make sure to have a valid Apple ID before you do this as well it's good to have that and that's it that's it for this video tutorial. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.